Hey, what's up? This is Bibo Online with the first news podcast about the world of breaking. Not a lot of things going on in the breaking scene because of COVID-19, but still we have something. Let's start with the fucking Instagram. Breaking is now an official Olympic sport, so we start with the real Olympic achievements. Bibo Malish, so the fourth, the fourth letter in his name is U, Russian U. So he's doing 30 fucking six. 30 fucking, yeah, 30 fucking six rounds of 90. What the hell? Just check this out on the Instagram of his teacher, B-Boy Baldrock. Russian kid from Izhevsk. I remember back in the days, the, the record was done by Benny Kimota from the legendary flying staffs of Germany. And he was doing around 10 rounds only. Now it's 36. Actually, do you remember these days? If so, Write down in the comments what was his record in terms of 90. Next up we got another Russian kid, uh, Taiga from MGT Crew, doing some crazy, what, what, what is he doing? He's doing some crazy one-handed air flare, right on the sharp elbow air flare, also one elbow air flare. What the heck is going on? And he's doing it on the solid fucking floor. And one more crazy combo from Funt from Power Move Conspiracy out of Crimea. If you are not subscribed to his Instagram account, do it right now because there are a bunch of really original and interesting Power Move combos. What do we have next? Red Bull BC1 World Finals. Red Bull BC1 World Finals 2020 won one of a few Bibo events that was going down in 2020. In 2021, they officially announced the World Finals. It will take place in Gdansk city in Poland on uh, 5th and 6th of November 2021. On RedBullBC1.com, Red Bull team already announced a couple of ciphers. And rumors spread that in June we'll have Red Bull BC1 Cypher Russia here in Moscow. Actually, we already know a couple of dancers that will participate in Red Bull BC1 World Finals 2021. These are winners of Red Bull BC1 World Finals 2020. These are B-Boy Shigi Kicks from Japan, who was the winner of B-Boy Battles, and Bigel Kastet, a double champion and she was the winner of Big Girl Battles in 2020. Also in this year, she joined the team of Red Bull BC1 All-Stars. And we have winners of Red Bull BC1 E-Battles 2020. These are B-Boy Gun from Russia from Illusion of Exist and Big Girl Mad Max from Belgium. They also won their spot in the battle lineup of Red Bull BC1 World Finals 2021. We wish them good luck. But I think, as in previous years, we will have less Chen Cypher right before the finals. As for the finals lineup, we don't know who is actually choosing the b girls and B-Boys who are going down in the lineup of the World Finals. And write down in the comments who do you think deserves to be in the World Finals, who will look fresh there and who deserves it. As for me personally, I think that one of them is definitely B-Boy Amir from Predators Crew, Russia. Actually, I think he deserved it even in 2020 after his win in the Legends Blast Outbreak Europe. During the Outbreak Europe, he won in the finals against B-Boy Thomas from Polsky Flavor. Still, it's one of the biggest events and one of the most important ones for sure. We have also announcements of a couple other big breaking events in 2021. First of all, this is Unbreakable in Antwerp and Belgium. It will take place on 18th and 19th of September 2021. Also, we have DPC Jam in Zurich, uh, Switzerland on 10th of October. From 9th to 12th uh, July, we have Yalta Summer Jam in Crimea, Russia. On 27th of June, we have Sochi Open organized by Tsar. It is uh, WDSF Russia and by rumors, it will be the championship of Europe. The World Championship this year by WDSF is going to take place in Nanking, China in October. In 2019, we already had the WDSF World Breaking Championships that also took place in Nanking, China. And the winner was Mena in B-Boy category from Hustle Kids, Red Bull BC1 All-Stars from, Neve from the Netherlands, and Big Girl Army from Japan also representing Red Bull BC1 All-Stars in Big Girl category. On Breaking for Gold website, you can see the results of the previous events and uh, the information about upcoming events. 
Hope to see more information about WDSL for all breaking championship a little bit later. It is the official start of the so-called Road to Paris. You can see the hashtag Road to Paris 2024. Actually, in the Olympic Games, there will be only 16 b-boys and 16 b-girls who is going to participate one-on-one. -on -one. Actually, the system is not that clear and we still don't know who is going to participate there and how uh, the organizers will decide. But what we know at least that there will be only one representative from each country. So, for example, even if in the World Breaking Championships by WDSF, the first two places will will take two guys from one country, for example, from the United States. Only one of them is going to participate in the Olympic Games. By the way, Russia is doing big in the Olympic sports. So we have uh, FTSR, it's kind of WDSF uh, Russia. And in 2021, we have over 10 events from them. And some of them with big prizes and with international guests. So it's nice to see it and nice to see uh, real b-boys and b-girls who are participating there, who are judging there, who host there and who are DJing there. At least for now they are doing it in the right direction. Another good news is that WDSF partners with Red Bull for development of Breaking for Gold World Tour. It's nice that they cooperate with a big brand who knows what they are doing. News from the United States. In USA uh, Space City Classic 2021 Global Breaking Championships by Break Free. Congress for the winners, B-Boy Zeko and Big Girl Kate. This event gave us one of the best battles for now from 2021. This was the battle between Zeku from Monster Energy and B-Boy Victor from Red Bull BC1 All-Stars and Squadron. Another nice battle was a call out from Jeffro to the judges of the Space City Classic. Interesting stuff was going out there when the judges said that it was not really a good start for, for Jeffro to call out the judges. Actually back in the days a lot of people were calling out the judges and it was okay. But now it's getting big you know and judges don't want to be called out anymore. <laughs> Who knows why. There was a big conversation and thoughts on RAD call out. You can check it on the Break Free uh, YouTube channel. I'll put down the link in the description. Another good thing is this event is the prize money. There are quite a lot of money actually. For the first place, the winner got $3,500 and $1,500 for the second place. And also third and fourth place took $750 each. Also, Breakfree announced a lot of different events that will take place in 2021. You can check their website, breakfreeworldwide.com and see what's going on down there. In the end of the year, on 29th of December, they will do the Breakfree Worldwide Awards based on some kind of a ranking from their previous championships. And what do we have here? The first place of the ranking takes fucking 10 grand dollars. Quite amazing to get that sum of money. Also we have a couple interesting videos out there. First of all, for the, for the lovers of uh, Trez and Says Tricks video, we have a really dope cut with tricks from original people Russia. And one more, some kind of theatrical video by Amir from Predators Crew. Check out the video Risk on Vimeo service. I'll put down the link in the description also. As for 
the B-Boy line, first of all we continue with our 10 round super battle. You can check out this month's battle, it was between Wild Jerry from Belarus, nothing to lose, versus Tsigar from OBC Crew Russia. Ten rounds battle is always a challenge, and we really think that it is much more interesting to watch. Just check it out. We, are, we already organized four battles, so the first one was Amir from Predators vs Ziprock from Action Man Crew Russia. The second one was Beatmaster T vs Mel. Both of them are Russian funky lovers. The third one was a battle between Russian Young Guns Grom and Bars. Oh shit! I hope we continue with this idea inspired by the legendary Who Can Roast The Most event. If you don't know what is Who Can Roast The Most, it was a legendary Miami event in USA that was take place in USA. And it was really interesting, the, it was kind of exhibition battles. And in our battles we also add judges. So we have five judges in the board and they judge every round. So at the end of the day we can see who is the winner of this battle. Hope with your support we can take it to the next level and after a while we can start doing international battles. By the way, what matchups do you want to see? Me personally, I would like to see Hon Tan versus Yan. Because Yan took the win uh, in Red Bull BC1 World Finals that were in Moscow. And it will really be interesting to see these guys with their experience uh, in 10 rounds battle. So write down in the comments what do you think, what matchups would you love to see. Also we continue with uh, free lessons, free tutorials every Thursday. Uh, the previous one was connection and footwork with uh, David Kola. And uh, one week before we had a mindset with the killer came from, from downtown France. Don't forget that if you want to support us, please do it. Join our channel, become a sponsor and support us with the subscription of $5 a month. By this you not only support us, but also you will get access to exclusive uh, b-boy courses. By now we have already two courses available for our sponsors. First one is a creativity course with b-boy Amir from Predators. The second one was a creativity on footwork course with the b-boy Arsex. And right now we are uploading uh, concepts and breaking exclusive course with the b-boy Jan from All The Most. So don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and support us with a donation if possible. You will help us to develop further and write down in the comments what do you think about this uh, news podcast, do you like it or not and should we continue with that. Peace!